here in round two, we have the choice again. We'll play first. And yeah, it's a good looking hand. Got two drop. Got all the colors we need. I see no issues. Definitely starting with red now that we remember we have double Mardu Scout. All right, let's get Mr. Dragon Fodder down. Oh, and now I can turn off my own begin combat step. What do we got? I not guide. Hmm. So, this is interesting. I think I actually want to dash Marty Scout here. I think he's got enough incentive to block it. Because then I can swing with my goblins too. And if he eats a goblin, he takes four, which is a pretty good amount of his life. Alternatively, I can just cast Marty Scout. I do have double War Flare. Eh, I'm just going to cast Marty Scout and pass. I don't mind the dashing idea, but I think it's actually early enough where he would take four damage and eat a goblin, which I don't know if I'm necessarily happy about. All right, so this is going to be the guy we probably passed two Salt Road Quartermasters to. I have to guess. So now we're just going to do Sprinting Warbrute. And uh, I guess we're only swinging with these two. He could he could take eight and eat my two goblins, and I don't think I would be thrilled about that. This, I think he just blocks here, here, and takes five, is my guess. Which is also eh, not bad. Not great, but not bad. So, hmm. I mean, theoretically, I could swing with both goblins. Pyrotechnics. Oh. Well. Guess that answers that. I think I'm actually just going to hard cast Brute. Might be wondering why, but it's because... Keep stuff back. Could have gotten in for five there, but hard casting the War Brute and having Pyrotechnics next turn seems pretty good. I think I'm swinging with team next turn for the pyrotechnics. So, is it even a trade? I guess it is a trade. So, it could be worse. All right, well, we're definitely swinging, but that means no Scream Reach Brawler, but that's okay. Ooh, Lightning Berserker. Um, it's okay. Let's swing. No blocks. Um, now I think we just go Brawler and... Berserker only because um, I can Pyrotechnics plus pump Berserker next turn, which doesn't seem too bad. All right. It's pretty big. So 
I think I'm just going to take eight here. Hmm. This is interesting. I think we just swing with these two. Get in for four. We're going to leave up Sarkin's Rage. And here's what we get to do. We get to block both of these. If we have to deal with Tredupon, we can Sarkin's Rage in response. Oh. Well, I think I'm just going to kill my opponent instead. So, like, I could Sarkin's Rage in response, but now I'm there's really just no reason to not burn my opponent out, I think. Oh, I guess he can tread upon now, can't he? Um, I can survive tread upon if I double block. But then I guess I can't Sarkin's Rage my opponent. So I guess it just makes sense to chump block. Because the thing is, if he tread upons, I end up having to take two from Sarkin's Rage anyway. So that kills me. I could tie it, but I think this is actually better. We'll show him a pyrotechnics. I'm okay with that. So, opponent is green-white beats. His epic confrontation, cash defenses. This looks like a pretty good spot for the old lose calm collateral damage. Which means maybe we want to drop a victory again? These guys are pretty big, though. Maybe I don't need the collateral damage. You don't need to have lose calm collateral damage. I think I actually want to keep the victory, but I don't mind swapping lose calm for something. I don't really want to lose a war flare either, though. To be honest. Uh, I guess I'm willing to swap a victory for a lose calm. I could try that. I don't think there's anything else I want. He did play a bunch of guys that I could get by with Magmatic Chasm, but I think I'm just doing things that are better than that, so... Let's go with this. All right, pretty clear mulligan. Keep. Gonna need some more land to do something, but we do have one of each color and we have plenty of two drops in this deck, so not too bad. All right, got the land. No Inoc Guide. Lightning Berserker is not bad. Let's uh, just do a Brawler instead. I guess, honestly, Berserker and Brawler at this stage do the same thing. Because I would have just played a Mountain and then dashed and pumped and did the same thing. So, you get it. Uh, let's do Alicia next turn, of course. Ooh, Erish and Foremost. Well, just in case he's got cash defenses, I think we're going to take care of that threat right away. Because if he cash defenses next turn, I'm taking 10 damage, which seems a bit unreasonable. All right. So Road Ambusher is not too big of a deal. Let's drop Alicia. And we'll pass. All right, 
It's pretty bad for us, but can't do anything about that. No follow-up plays, nice. Got our fourth land, so I think the plan is... Mardu go. So we could dash with Berserker, get in for two. I think we just play Scout and Berserker and then pass. I think that's actually... We want to set up for a nice uh, War Flare here shortly. And having no board presence with a War Flare in hand just seems not correct. Admittedly, War Flare with Dash doesn't seem uh, all that synergistic, I guess. Since if you're you're either paying for Dash or you're paying for your War Flare. But if you have enough mana, you get to do both, I suppose. Even Tactician. All right. That's not an emergency situation at all. What is he going to do it on? Does it on the Tactician. Close to Sarkin's Rage mana. Should be noted. No attacks. And another mountain. So I can Sarkin's Rage swing with Scout. That's not that bad. I can also swing with Berserker and Scout. See how he blocks. Post combat play a Brawler. Set up for a better War Flare. Guess that's not bad either. Oh, I guess I can't swing with the Scout, though, because of the Tactician. So I could swing just Berserker, pump twice, and then play Brawler. Let's do that. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful position for Lightning Berserker here. Seven mana. That's worrisome. Fruit of the first tree. All right. He's busting that on us again. I think attacking with your fruit of the first tree creature is wrong, however. I would have done it on my ambusher then. Doesn't that make sense? Possibly not. Um, let's... Swing in here. Huh. Well, now I'm not incentivized to use War Flare at all. All right. No cards left in hand. And Avon Tactician staying back now, which is makes more sense. Um, the lands are starting to get less good. So he would draw four cards and gain four life. I'm trying to think if there's a way I can just win. I can Sarkin's Rage, but he gains life. This is where Lose Calm would be pretty good. So I could swing in. I can War Flare bring him to sin. I don't think it's worth it. I think we wait. He's in top deck mode. We've got some actual cards. I mean, getting to the point where I can dash plus War Flare, which is pretty good. 
attack there seems strange. So I can rage my opponent. Guess we don't have to just yet. Lands are pretty bad. All right, let's swing. Guess we war flare. And theoretically, if I can get another one damage in, I could kill my opponent. Still attacking, which is interesting. All right. Well, we're just going to swing and win, I suppose. All right, so we got the match. I think our opponent was too aggressive with his Fruit of the First Tree. His Fruit of the First Tree actually didn't look that bad in his deck, but he the way he like played with it didn't make much sense. Like I said, putting the Fruit of the First Tree on his Salt Road Ambusher would have made a lot more sense and worked out a lot better for him, I think. But uh, uh, certainly nothing wrong with his deck. I think he had a very cool little counter theme going. Um, which worked probably really well with Desertion and Foremost, probably in, turn, in game one for him, with the double Salt Road. Well, at least one Quartermaster, an Ambusher, Servant of the Scale, Tactician. Kind of a cool deck. Um, but we got there, so we'll see in the finals.